I'm Carter. Welcome to Meet Me at the Corner. I am at the corner of Lakeside Avenue and Main Street. I'm standing outside of the Thomas Edison National Historic Museum in West Orange, New Jersey. Thomas Alva Edison and his team of scientists, engineers, and craftsmen created more than half of Edison's 1,093 patented inventions in this laboratory. Today we're going to speak to Mr. Patrick Garner, who portrays Thomas Edison, to learn more about Edison and his inventions. What were some of Edison's difficulties as a child? Well, I was pretty shy when I was a kid, and my family wasn't too well off. But I, I think the biggest hardship for me was I, I didn't think like all the other kids. I only went to school for three months, and legend says a teacher sent me home and said, uh, please don't send Al back to school, he's addled, which means I thought differently than everybody else. And once I lost my hearing, I couldn't go back to school. They couldn't handle me. In all of your inventions, why didn't you invent a hearing aid? Oh, now see, a lot of people thought losing my hearing was a great liability. And I said, no, I'm gonna turn that into an asset because it worked for me. Because of you know, losing my hearing, I could walk into a very crowded room or walk down the busiest street in the world. There'd be horns honking, horses neighing. And to me, it was always just like being in a library. I could concentrate. Why fix something that's not broken? What are the lessons that we can learn from Thomas Edison? Oh, I think probably the biggest one is to work hard, but play hard too. The other is uh, there are no mistakes as long as you learn from them. Try to look at your problems from a different angle, but the most important is find something you love to do in your life and then make sure you do it your whole life long. That's why I loved inventing. Will you show us some of the inventions that you created here? Sure. Now, 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 the light bulb we invented before we got here to West Orange. But here we, we perfected the phonograph, we worked on motion pictures, and uh, the alkaline battery. It's probably not very impressive, but we made more money on that battery than all our other inventions combined. Why do you think studying history is important? Well, a pessimist would tell you that those who don't learn from history are condemned to repeat it. But I'd say those who don't learn from history miss all the amazing things history has to teach us. The men and women who accomplished amazing things, they were just men and women, people like you and I. Thomas Edison, he was just a man. He's a genius. You're not a genius. Genius is only 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. That's it from my corner of the world. See you next time.